We're back for another book review, and this time we're going to look at Unashamed by Christine Kane. Yeah, I, you know, I actually had to ask her to do this one because she did this as a Bible study, yes. and so I got left out of the reindeer games. <laughs> yeah, we went on without her, but hey, it was a powerful book. I read the book first long before I led a group of ladies through the Bible study, and I actually led two groups, so... Um, it's really a great book, but um, what are you ashamed of? Right. Mm. Yeah. Cricket, cricket, cricket <laughs> right? Nobody wants to talk about, you know, the things of our past and... Secrets. Oh, the secrets. The things that people may have done to us or we have done to other people. I mean, the enemy comes in and he wants to heap us with shame. Shameful thoughts our past and then we end up getting stuck and we we're not we're not even effective in our own life because we're dragging all this stuff into every relationship every situation it's really a tough thing but man Jesus man he came to bear our shame all oh. all of it all of our shame we're not supposed to be carrying once you become a believer and he comes into you you are dressed in the white his white cloak, yes. let's put it that You're way. You're righteous. And yes, his and so righteousness. Those are things now that, yes, they happen to you. We can't deny that you went through it. You can't, in fact, it would be stupid to deny it because right. I think that's what the enemy would use right. more than anything to bind you. Um, but uh, it is used then for you to grow on that and then eventually share with others. Yes. Because it's in our transparency that he's able to help. Uh, I, there was a quote in the book, I loved it, so I'm going to do it right now. Hurt people, hurt people. Yes. Broken people, break people. Shattered people, shatter people. Loved people, love people. Yes. And free people, free people. Yes. And that's what we are supposed to do with our experiences. We're supposed to help free others mm -hmm. because he's freed yes. us. Yes. And that's in essence what the book Absolutely. Unashamed yes. is really wanting to lead us to do. Yep. To walk in that freedom. Yes, drop everything from your past that mm -hmm. you're ashamed of and lay it at the foot of the cross where Jesus has already dealt with it. Yeah. And a lot of us, we don't even want to eke it out. We don't even want to give life to it. Or, But the thing is, like we've talked about this earlier, the power of transparency. Listen, Listen. this girl, she knows everything about me and there's a few of you out there that watch this <laughs> that know know both of us and you very know everything well. about us yes um but that's where you know our passion comes from is the freedom that we have found in christ because i'm not that girl anymore i will say you know there's you have to have a certain amount of um uh how can i say you don't go sharing it with everyone and everywhere no. you walk into you know this is information there are things in our past that we really want to share with someone you have confidence mm -hmm. in. That's mm -hmm. wisdom. Yes. All right, guys, when I say share, I mean do it wisely, as yes. Scripture would tell right. you to do. Right. You know, I shared it with Sherry. I have shared it with women in my Bible study that I love and mm -hmm. love me and trust me. You need me to because, really pick safe yes, people. Yes, it's got to be with a safe person because if you share it with someone who's not safe, yeah. it can then become a weapon to, against you right and I mean we were just talking about those words shame on you I mean yes. growing up at least here in the south you'll hear it and, they, and, and there's there's power in that shame on you right. and you know they they try to put that shame on you when in truth you know you probably I don't know if it was intentional whatever it was you were doing especially if you were a kid right I often share with Sherry my daughter was such a strong-willed child as a little girl yeah. and I love my daughter she's just a wonderful per kid but she was very strong-willed. Mm -hmm. And I remember looking at my friend at the time and saying, I'm not, I don't believe my job is to break her will. God made her that way for a reason. Right. There's a reason my daughter has to have this personality. Yeah. My job is to teach her to use it in a way that will encourage, that will build, it's and that is in line yeah. with mm -hmm. the Word of God. Right. You know, that's my job. And so that was in line with one of the other quotes that I wrote down from Miss Christine. Um, she tells a story about when she was a kid in kindergarten and how one of her teachers was trying to shame her for having uh, leadership skills. And that is exactly why she's become such an effective uh, 
uh, teacher of the word right. and also she does uh what is a it 21 and ministries propel. and yep. propel she's helping propel other women into following their um, pursuit of and God how many and women has she gotten do. out of sexual slavery yes. because of the fact that she's got amazing leadership yes. leadership skills yes. and she can get people together and encourage them and move them yes. and so guys you may have one of those strong will kids yeah. And I'm telling you that there is a reason they've been created that way. Yes. Don't shame them. Yes. Build them. Yes. Anyways. And yeah, and listen, God can use every hurt, everything that was shattered in your life, broken in your life, the things that you're not proud of. He can take every single one of those and turn it around for his good and his glory. And he wants you to unpack all those things that are keeping you from stepping into the destiny that God has for you. That is so true. I cool. mean, and in the book, it, the quote actually is, God um, what God uses to grow our trust is the same thing that the enemy is going to use to grow your fear. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is you've gone through, whatever it is you're mm -hmm. shamefully hiding, mm -hmm. those are the very same things that if you believe in God and you hold on to him and are unashamed about them, he can then transform yeah. it and make it your message. What is it? Takes right. your mess and makes it into Man, your message. That's right. And so, but it's the very same thing that mm -hmm. if you try to hide it, if you try to cover it with the, you know, if you try to cover it up, it's the very same thing the enemy's yeah. going to use to keep you, you in bondage. Yeah. Keep you stuck. And blind. Yep. 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 And I, I'm thinking just personally, like when I was doing uh, the believing in God, uh, I, it was the first time I had ever been in a Bible study, and I finally eked out that, you know, my late husband had had an affair, and um, just speaking that, man, it you could just feel the, the, the walls starting to crumble, and with that one little step, it was easier for me to start sharing all the details of my story, right. and not every detail, but the big, the big pieces of that part of my life and I can clearly remember my mom saying why do you have to tell everybody you know she's from another generation that right. you just didn't talk about those things but I I learned that by talking about it like what Carrie was saying the enemy could no longer keep that over me and keep that as a reminder of you know because the enemy wants to come in and say you're not pretty enough you're not good enough you know, that's why You're all these bossy. things happen. <laughs> yeah, you know, all those things. And, um, but God, boy, he can just unpack all that stuff and show you the woman, the man that he designed you to be from before you were even conceived. And whatever lie it is, or whatever thing that maybe you didn't get subjected to, maybe you were abandoned as a child. I've known a lot of children in the foster care system. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you were abused, you know, in different ways, physically, emotionally, sexually. Whatever it is, whatever it is that has held you in bondage, if you surrender it to Christ, if you truly come to him and say, look, this is, this is dirty, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. He can take that and yeah. he can heal that mm -hmm. so that in your walk, it's no longer that badge that you carry, but That's now right. you become healed. Yeah. You become complete in him. Yeah. Um, I think the last quote that really got to me, um, was her, I think it was almost her very last quote in the book. It was be your uncovered, unafraid, unashamed self. Yeah. How in our society, you know, how many people have to walk around being someone they're not mm. because yeah. they're too afraid of what others are going to think about them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, when you get free, you get to the point you don't care what other people think. You really don't. You know, I mean, uh, God has really set me free in so many ways. And, and, and um, as the leader and facilitator of, of that um, Bible study and, you know, the book reading... It is well suited for um, going through with a group of people that kind of already know each other really right. well and the things that they were dealing with. I can say that um, my evening group, they were very new right. um, to each other and didn't know each other very well. So the dialogue and the freedom to talk about their past wasn't as free as the morning group that had been together for, you know, good six or seven, eight years you know, I, so I think in having difference. read the book myself 
I, I would say it's probably a great study for a group of no more than six people mm -hmm. because that allows you to have the freedom to share. Mm -hmm. um, and then in that group of six people, you know, maybe give yourself to a, a couple you know, where you will be accountable within that. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't do it as a group. I read it on my own. But even just the study in itself, it is a deep study. And it's one of those studies that's going to deal with real issues in yes. people's real life. Yes. It's not a theory book it's not a mm -hmm. uh, it's not an intellectual book right. it's a book that you're gonna have to process yeah you know and it's gonna take some it's gonna and take it, some energy from yes. you. yes and it gets to the root of the issues yes and when you get if you to allow the root, it yes if you open yourself up and say lord i you know what i have carried this stuff for way too long because those issues where you've been hurt and betrayed and you know shattered broken those create roots in your life that bear fruit that aren't that's not good no again you know broken people break people yes. shattered people shatter people you know, we're looking at you getting loved and free <laughs> yeah so think of it this way if you've got bitterness anger resentment unforgiveness or those things that you're dealing with every day god wants to replace it with love forgiveness kindness, gentleness, self-control, you know, so whatever, think about the things that happen in your life and how you respond to it. If it's negative, it means there's a root of something negative that, that God wants you to unpack. Amen. I would say that if you enjoyed this book and it's a, it's, if you do go into it and you come out saying, I need more, yeah. I would follow it up with uh, Breaking Free by Beth Moore, the yeah. study. That is also an extremely deep study, and but it will absolutely if you allow it, yeah. if you allow it, it can set you free. Yeah. So guys, I thank you so much for yeah. stopping by. Yeah, check out Unashamed by Kristen Kane. Thank you, and God be blessed. Bye-bye.